Good morning and welcome to my living room. I was hoping that I might have a better internet connection here to be able to stay connected to be live, but that's being proven wrong once again. But with all that, we still have reasons to be thankful. And this day, I wanted to look and remember that next week, we're falling in, believe it or not, on Thanksgiving. Nine months ago when all this started, we never thought that we'd be worried when Thanksgiving came around as to whether or not we could meet with our families, with groups of friends, without having to worry about their safety and worry about our own safety at the same time. But that's where we're at. And in some ways, we sit back and go, well, if I can't be with family, what's the use of even being thankful? But I wanted to share with you today a scripture that's very important to me that I learned when I was in high school. I had been with a youth group, and we came to Wichita Falls to see a Billy Graham movie called A Time to Run. And the theme song in that movie was actually based upon the scripture I'm going to share. And it's Psalms 116. And it says, What shall I render to the Lord for all that he has given me? I'll lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I'll pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maiden servant. You have loosened my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. Think about that for one moment as we look at being thankful. And we start asking, what do we have to be thankful for when we're locked away, when we have so many restrictions put upon us? When we sit back and think about the author here in the book of Psalms, we realize that he was besieged by enemies, those that wanted to take him out of the throne. We realize that there were those who would do anything to harm him. And in that fact, he lived in fear also. And this is where that question comes from, is that what shall I give to the Lord for he, what all he's given me? If I sit back and think for a moment about my children, my grandchildren, I can go, there's so much that I need to be thankful for. When I sit back and think of my living room, as messy as what it could be on the opposite side of this camera, and I think about the animals that I have that I love, that also love me, when I think that I can go and I can get a turkey and I can cook it and I can prepare it for my wife and I and we can sit back and enjoy and be thankful, even though there are those that put restrictions upon us, we can realize today we have a lot to be thankful for because God has given us so much. Remember Ecclesiastes 3? where it says, eat, drink, and be merry, for this is the will of God, that we be happy in all our work. It is from that abundance that we're able to feast and to give thanksgiving. The next part he says is that, I'll lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. When I sit back and think for a moment of what that means, it means as a Christian, God afforded me salvation. For all the sins of my life, he took for a moment a person who David never met, a person who the prophets had talked about, and said to him, I give you the link of salvation, and that's my son. The cup of salvation that David was talking about lifting here was the cup of Christ, not just the communion cup, but Christ himself, he looked at us, and he gave us our freedom from sin itself. But when we lift that, we do it in thanksgiving to God. When we lift Christ in our life and we share Christ with others, we find that there is so much more that we are doing than just giving God thanks and applause. What we're doing is we're offering Christ to others when we say those words. And in so doing, we're saying that we're thankful to God because he's worthy to be praised by all. And he says, I'll pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of his people. He's actually saying here that we'll gather together in the presence of all God's people, and that when we gather, we'll lift our hands, we'll sing our songs, we'll hear the word, we'll lift our prayers, 
But even more than all of that, we are in the presence of those who love us, who love our God. We reminds us that we're not alone. And it says, Lord, I am your servant. When we gave ourselves to Christ, we actually became his servant. Not slaves to people, but slaves to God. To be able to say, you are worthy and I will do what you ask. That I will give my own connection before you, O Lord. And the other is, is a reminder that he has freed us from the sin. He has loosened the bond. But finally he says, I'll offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on your name. And all things, even though today is not Thanksgiving Day, we should lift up our hearts in thanksgiving and call upon God to heal our land, to heal our nation, to heal our bodies and our families. I know that over the weekend, I've learned of two deaths. One I'm not familiar with, but very precious to a dear friend of mine. And then yesterday, I learned of another death of a friend of mine. You know, in that, we can always say, Lord, what's the use? In the end, there's only death. But for Christians, in the end, there's only life. We have to remember, as C.S. Lewis said, now that I live the land of the dying to go to the land of the living, it's in those lands that we seek God, and in those lands is a promise that he has given us that we will live with him forever. But why all this? We go back to the first of this psalm in 116 and look at those two first verses. And it says, I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. You want a better reason for Thanksgiving? You won't find one. The reason we give Thanksgiving isn't because we found peace in Turkey so many years ago. We find the land of the living. We find the land of our love by being able to look to God today and say, God, thank you. Thank you for freeing me from sin. Thank you for Christ. Thank you for all that you have given me. And in this day, I give you praise. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious God, we lift Myra to you today because she lost one of her nieces. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you put your arms around her and give her comfort. But we also lift today to you, Benita, and ask, dear God, that in the passing of Mickey, that you truly take her in your arms and you hold her close. This wasn't our expectation nor our desire, dear God, but in all things you call us when it is our time. We pray a blessing of thanksgiving upon both, a blessing of love, and we pray that in the darkness, in this time of darkness, they will turn to your light in all things that they'll understand that we still can be thankful in these days. Bless them. Bless all who are broken and all who are in need as we seek you this day. Amen. Go in peace and be thankful.